the more so. I don't know how you did this for less than 30 bucks. At $29.98, we have had over 10,000 QVC customers over the last couple years that have picked up and looked for the wooden stars from Plow and Hearth. They light up, but they light up with this absolutely magical, almost celestial, holographic imagery. Mm -hmm. Now, when you think Plow and Hearth, holographic is a word we wouldn't normally use. Right. Because right. they kind of go back to, to older days. Yeah, uh, the word hearken, rarely used in television today. Uh, this looks like old world. Mm -hmm. Everything about this is magic. It really is cool. I think the Plow and Hearth has done such a fabulous job with these because these are made out of wood and I want you to notice the die cutting. There are stars all around the edges of each one of these. And they're perfect. They are. That's, that's the they're die perfect. cutting. So you've got your Santa right here. We have our nativity in the middle which people love the nativity. That, and, that is absolutely my favorite. Oh and the snowman Look which is this. inside a snowflake. So the shape is going to be matching the theme that's on the inside. But it, it, the lights that are on the inside, cool? there's this, it's, it's a, a plastic, kind like of a, a, vellum of a sort snow of... glass like look. Mm -hmm. and, and it makes those tiny lights sunburst. Right. And, and it becomes very impressive when we drop our lights down just a little bit. Look at that. I, I've been doing this for almost 30 years and I've never seen anything like this. Isn't that cool? This, this is one of those pieces that will become a family piece mm -hmm. for generations to come. Right. And my father has some Christmas ornaments from, from the old country, from Germany, mm -hmm. that are very delicate and you know that they could never be replaced. Mm -hmm. This is one of those pieces that 25, 30 years ago, yes. some of the Christmas ornaments on my father's Christmas tree are now over 100 years old. Wow. Because He's in his 90s, oh, and they cool. came from his mother. Yes. So 10 years from now, 20 years from now, this will be the piece that people remember and go, mm -hmm. oh, you unpack it every year, <clears throat> and you feel it. Right, it's so unique, it's so different. With those lights that are inside and then that film that kind of creates that starring effect, each one of these has a starry night. And these are made out of real wood. Yep. You, they're on a timer, six hours on, 18 hours off. You have a space underneath that you just have to add those batteries into there. The craftsmanship, is Nancy, incredible. is mm -hmm. extraordinarily well done. Yep. You know, working with wood is still an art form. You know, this is a beautiful piece. One, two, three, four. Uh, I mean, they created an octagon out of the wood. And look at the joints between each piece and the seams. Look at those perfect star cutouts. Yep. Uh, who says a wreath has to be green? Right. And they're done on both sides. So yeah. if you want to put these on one of those um, tables that's behind your couch, you know, you can go ahead and turn it around. And it still looks that's fabulous on the back as well. Or maybe, like, I've put them up on top of my china hutch. Or maybe you have that space above your kitchen cabinets that you just want yep. to have a little something with some greenery. This is a great thing to put up there. And these are made out of wood. There's that hearkening to nature that Plow and Hearth is so good at. And they remind me of those European European, like you were talking about the German ornaments. Sure, yes. They also have um, things that are called Schweibagens that are made out of wood that are seen. Now, educate me. Oh, by the way, real quick, uh, the Nativity is by far the most popular out of the three. Uh, if you want the, the Santa, mm -hmm. the and star. that's the one with the mm -hmm. star, that's the one you're seeing right there. There's fewer than 400 of these to go around. That's it. This is our only order that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had over 10,000 people who bought them. And we're getting down to finite quantities. What, right. was the, what was the term you used? It's called the Schweibagen. And a Schweibagen. What is a Schweibagen? <laughs> it is like an arched uh, scene. And so it is oh, made oh, out of oh, wood. Oh, I know what you're talking or about. Or you know those pyramids with yes. the candles and stuff? Yes. Those are the wooden kind of German decorations. And so Plow and Hearth was inspired by those to give you to something that has that old world feel. But then they added that beautiful um, lighting effect on the inside so that you have something that's a little bit different, something that's interesting and beautiful. And look at those stars. So no matter which way you're looking at them, and there's even lit up on the side because you've got the lights that, I mean, the... Uh, cutouts of the stars, really just a unique difference. That's and cool. like you said, heirloom, something you're going to take out year after year and you're going to say, now where are we going to put our star? Where are we yes. going to put our nativity this year? Think, by the way, think about this as well. Uh, there's two types of people in the world. Those who get plow and hearth and those who don't. 
Mm -hmm. You know, you, you and I get it. Mm -hmm. the, it the, it's for the people who get emotional at Christmas time, mm -hmm. that are willing to take the risk to feel. Give these as gifts. Uh, at $29.98, yes. a, a good bottle of wine will cost you 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, a, nowadays, a cheap box of wine will cost you 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Give it as a gift. Here's our snowman. The snowman is within that, that snowflake. Mm -hmm. 300 of the snowmen are available. Okay. That's it. That nativity, what, there is no better Christmas gift. If Isn't you're celebrating awesome? the holiday, right. then hopefully that has a meaning to you. But these are made by hand, by artisans, mm -hmm. by people who care. And, and this is how they make their living. And I, I think this works in any decor. You could have yes. high-rise Manhattan apartment. Right. Shiny, beautiful chandeliers, and this still somehow finds its home. Right, it's just that warm, that welcome, that something that's so unique and different and you know, gives you that thought of nature because of the wood, because of the stars, you know, that's going to remind you of that starry night, whether it's Santa, you know, flying through yes. the, the sky to deliver the presents or, you know, the, the day that baby Jesus was born and you've got the stars and the stars in the sky and the star of David. Half the entire quantity okay. of the nativity mm -hmm. are gone. Uh, by the way, I, I, I do want to say something. Uh, it's right now about 32 minutes after the top of the hour, and that happens to be 6 a.m. East Coast time. There's a reason why Nancy's here at 6.30 in the morning. If we had done this show in prime time, mm -hmm. things would have blown out so quickly that, quite frankly, my audience would have been mad at me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is your chance. This is your last opportunity to be able to pick up handcrafted, wooden pieces, and they are not small pieces. Right. They're, they're 14 inches for their height, usually about 15 inches for the width, and it is a perfect example of, of true artistry. Mm -hmm. Every one of these little stars is cut out by hand, hand sanded. The finish on it is a very natural, mm -hmm. almost a clear. There's your nativity. There's the, the, the actual manger, you know? That, I think that's very cool. Yeah, these these are something that I just think is classic. You know, there are things in your in your house that's a little bit trendy. You know, maybe you do something fun, a little silly snowman or something. Okay. But you also want those things that are classic, that are beautiful. And so these really fit the bill. And then have those stars in there. They're really, really fantastic. Uh, it, uh, approximation, there's about 300 each that are remaining. That's it. And they'll be gone. Uh, choose. Uh, before you decide where to put it, decide to make that phone call, okay? Uh, I love it. Perfect. By the way, I want to voice a formal protest. Polar bears and penguins do not wear sweaters. <laughs> that, that is a wimpy, <laughs> wimpy penguin. <laughs> that's, that's a high-maintenance penguin. <laughs> Look at these. Wait till you see the detail, by the way, on these sweaters on our little little bears. And you get a set of two, you get a little penguin and a big penguin. Those are fully three-dimensional sweaters. You can actually see what appears to be the, the knitting and the yarn. Yep, exactly. Uh, they're adorable and they're priced at under 20 bucks for a set of two. And with everything on Easy Pay, with three Easy Pay payments today, uh, you're gonna enjoy these. Wind spinners. Plow and Hearth is known for their wind spinners. Uh, it is, quite frankly, what, what people...